Are you scared? <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> just a little. You look great. Thank you. You look really thank good. Thank you. You too, by the uh, way. Thank you. Very natty. Um, <laughs> hey, how is it? The show's doing very well. Congratulations. Thank you. And thank uh, you. You're, you're, it's great to see you on there. And Charlie was on the show, and he's a great guy. He is a lovely, lovely man. Yeah. I, I hate him terribly at this moment. Really? I mean, I'm enraged. How come? I'm enraged. I will tell you why. Because right before the holiday, he said, okay, you and me, we're going to make an agreement. Because it's been so stressful, the holidays, we've got to get gifts for everybody. You know, you and I are not going to buy gifts for each other, okay? We're going to do that thing, you know, usually a husband and wife make that agreement because it's so stressful before the holiday. And invariably, the wife actually buys a gift for the husband. Right. And the husband's left uh, on the holiday going, I didn't get you anything because we made an agreement. And, and you, now you've, and now I'm hanging with my, my butt crack hanging out. Um, <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen... Charlie Sheen is now my wife. He bought me a gift. I bought him nothing. Oh. I bought him nothing. So I'm enraged. What did Thank he get you? What did he got? He got me a gift certificate. For where? For books. Oh, that's sweet. That's very sweet. Right. I got him bupkis. I got him nothing. I got oh. him a handful of air. It's and terrible he because he's married now. He's yeah. boring. Yeah. He's, he's a Mormon now. Yeah. He and his, his wife is Denise Richards, yeah. for crying out loud. I know out they're loud. very happy. They're lovely. He, he's a great guy and nice and funny. And exactly. Yeah, I know. I, and I hear that he does nice things on the set for you all the time. Exactly. And... Well, oh, yeah. Well, no, that's, he, you can't complain about anything if Charlie Sheen is in the room because he will fix it. Mm -hmm. uh, I was belly aching about I couldn't get tickets to a Duran Duran concert because they were having a reunion concert here, uh, and uh, and he said okay, you know an hour later he shows up to me and he and he just says you know uh, okay I couldn't get you tickets in town but I got you tickets in Orange County. He had a he had a seating chart and everything and he said okay is this okay for you it's kind of on the side I hope you dig it and I, I, I thought that was kind of strange and then like our first day of shooting I made fun of the fact that. Uh, uh, I didn't know where he was going to put the satellite dish on top of his, his trailer. And he said, oh, no, no, it's on top of the studio. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and I, so I was belly aching about it. And the next day I come in and he's had a satellite dish installed on my trailer. And he's programming the remote when I get in the dressing room. Literally, because he doesn't want me to have to, you know, get up and, and actually touch the TV. Wow, he is your wife. He's my wife. <laughs> He's a lovely wife. Um, all right, we have to go to a commercial and clear all this up because now people at home are scared. Uh, we'll be right back, right after this. We are back with John Cryer. And uh, so I, I heard somebody yell out when you came out, Ducky. Now, mm -hmm. do you still get recognized? Does everybody still think of you as Ducky? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Uh, even though, you know, we've all aged, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> we aren't all the teenagers we once were. Um, but, yeah, people exclaim it in the streets. They... Uh, uh, a lot of women apparently really dug him. Yes, um, yeah. Regardless do we have a, do we have a clip? Wardrobe. Where's the clip of... Uh... Very pointy. Yeah. <laughs> Very pointy. These are kind of ducky. It's straight, kind yeah. of ducky. Kind of. But we should I, do... That was such a great movie. Oh, thank you. It was you. such a good movie. It was such a great amount of hair I yeah. had, wasn't it? <laughs> Can we do like a freeze frame where we compare, you know, my, the old hair and the new hair? Yeah. There's a lot less now. Yeah. <laughs> Stay awake. Well, there's a there's a lot of uh, nothing. It's sad, really. There's 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 a lot of girth. Yeah. <laughs> width. It yes. has a lot of width. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's all gone. No. It's sad. No. Well, some of it. You some look of it, I... great. Thank you. Now, so and people are, are, are do they know you're you or when they look at you are they uh, they mistaking you for somebody that just I... is. Oh, I get mistaken for Matthew Broderick all the time. That's what I was thinking. Um, you, you look like him. I do, uh, yes, I do. A bit. You were like Mary Tyler Moore just now. Ooh. Well, <laughs> Mr. Grant. Um, <laughs> you know, I, the thing is, I was, I was his understudy. My very first job was as his understudy on Broadway. And it, literally ever since then, I have been just hounded. In, I, was in, I was in McDonald's in Santa Clarita. No. Uh, when, when a woman said, oh my God, Ferris Bueller is in a McDonald's in Santa Clarita. And I said, no, Ferris Bueller is fictional, first of all. Uh, and second of all, he's probably in New York with his yeah. fabulous babe wife and fabulous babe child. Oh wait, well it's a babe, it's a boy, but it's a babe yeah. still, I guess. Right. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm free associating at this point. Uh, but, but there was no amount of uh, identification I could provide, no amount of, you know, would, you know, I was like, would, for God's sakes, would Matthew Broderick order a Caesar salad? You know, no, he wouldn't at McDonald's. He wouldn't. Yeah, no. Let's face it, he not, wouldn't. Not a Caesar salad. I tried everything, and she just refused to believe I was not Matthew Broderick. Did you actually show ID? Yes. Really? She's like, it's fake. 
It's vague. You. Wow, you just don't want people to know. You're Matthew Broderick. Yeah, it's like, yeah. yes, I'm deeply ashamed of being Matthew Broderick. <laughs> right. Yes, it was that big hit producers thing that just drove me underground. Uh -huh. I just said, no, I don't want any part of that. I'm getting John Cryer's license. So I'm exactly. Gonna, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to chase I'll him down. I'll throw him way off. And exactly. So, and, but my wife is named Sarah. Freaky. Really? Woo! And you have a baby, too. And I have a baby, too. How old is your baby? Adorable. He's three. Three. He's three. And what's his, was Christmas good for him? Christmas was, was good for him. Uh, every time he sees a toy advertised on TV, he says, I'm going to buy that. Uh, which is great, except that it totally diminishes Santa because, according to my son, he's going to buy everything. Right. So he doesn't need Santa, you know. But, uh, that guy's just, you know, a middleman. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Your son is like puppy. Pretty much, yeah. yes. Just, yeah. He's going to buy it all. Yeah. But buys nothing for me. Oh, no. It's just for him. It's just for and him. And what kind of things does he want? He wants, uh, he likes Transformer toys. He likes, uh, he likes the Polly Pocket shopping mall. <laughs> Uh, which is interesting. Polly Pockets used to be tiny. Yep. I don't know if you remember Polly Pockets. They, were, they used to be really tiny. Uh, and now uh, they are about three inches tall and they come with many, many hair accoutrements. Uh -huh. um, and uh, there's an escalator in the shopping mall, which is very really? exciting. Really? Yes. That so sounds he, like a cool toy. He just goes nuts for the escalator. That's cool. Is it battery operated? No. I, I want one. Okay. Uh, that sounds really cool. So. No, you can use your own little hands. Oh, you do it yourself. Your own little hands. Oh, that's See? great. I'll get you one. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, Two and a Half Men is on Mondays at 9.30 on CBS. Thank you so much for being thank here. You. Thank you.